Hey folks, welcome to Deer Corner. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the cabin. It's been about two weeks since I've been up here. I do my walkthrough, make sure the windows are secure, the doors are secure. Look around before I go in. Because uh, them big black dogs we call bears. Yeah, they'll get in. If they, they want in, they're going to get in. And you don't want to end up walking in on top of one if one's in here. But uh, I just make sure everything here is okay. And lock the door. And uh, come on in. Come on into the cabin. Now i got to shut the alarm off. So go over here to the keypad. Before it sends a signal on my phone, better shut it off. Otherwise, I get a text on my phone. Somebody broke in. And I look around, make sure everything's just the way I left it the last time I was up here. And everything's good. One thing I found about a cabin, especially here in the mountains. And, uh, That's these things right here. Now these things right here, it's mesh wire with a spray can lid on the bottom and filled with rock salt. And that takes the moisture out of the air. So when you come in here, it don't smell moldy. It, it don't have that wet smell. Things don't rust. Uh, my furniture don't get moldy. My windows don't get running water down on the inside. And that's one thing about having a cabin and a place up like this. Keep your moisture down. Everything here works on 12 volt. And uh, I got solar system that runs everything up here. Everything seems to be okay. I'm going to start getting moved in. And I'll bring your light along. Groceries brought in, put away, got things put up. I'll make me a cup of coffee and uh, go on out, sit on the porch, relax for a little bit after the drive up here. And let me just show you a few things out here real quick that I got going on. Uh, you might like to see. So let me go ahead and bring you along on outside. This is off my porch here. And if you look at all the undergrowth, and if you notice there's no hinge cutting, no trees being cut down to let the sun come in. And look at all the undergrowth out through here, off just off my porch. That's where it starts. Off my porch. 360 degrees from this cabin. It took years, grant you, to get it going. But if you look at all the undergrowth, how thick it is down through there. And that's what the deer like. But if you notice, again, like I said, there's no hinge cutting. I'm not cutting trees down. I'm just bringing in native plants, putting them down. And letting them grow. A lot of browsing. A lot of browsing here. Now grant you this is only around 20 acres in the middle of this wooded area. But this is why the deer come here. It's why the deer are here during hunting season. Coming in here and browsing. 
It don't happen overnight. This took years of development. Actually, it's an art, and I enjoy doing it. Yeah, it took me about an hour and a half to get up here. Time to sit down and relax and enjoy what I like to do. And uh, just looking out through here. I'm thinking how many years I've been putting things out and working this area here. When I got here years back, it used to be open. You used to be able to see a long ways down through there. It took years of developing, planning. It's an artwork. I enjoy doing it. You get all this undergrowth. All the browsing I need for deer. During deer season, get started. And like I said in a previous video, what I have here, I'm not doing the whole area. I'm not doing all of it. I'm doing 20, 25 acres. You only hunt an acre or two at a time. But I'm just developing and expanding right here, starting at the cabin. But there's no magic dirt. There's no magic dust. There's nothing you can pour on the ground for deer habitat. Uh, things to me just getting too commercialized Buy this dump it out. It's good. That's what you need. This is what you need All this browsing Material you got to have browsing you got to have a lot of it. You got to have a lot of cover A lot of cover And I'm still doing it um, I got seedlings at the house of Osher Dogwoods. I got two of them that are about 12 years old. And I get clippings off of them. And that's what I got right here. I got five cans of these. There's 10 in a can. And they're sprouted. They're ready to go out. I cut these and put them in the can. About half full of water. About three weeks ago, I stuck them under the cabin. Got up here. I just got one out and look at them, but they're ready to go out. I'm still putting things out. I'm still developing, still building. Got a stand that we got up late last year, and that's where these are going. And uh, they'll get about two foot tall, two and a half foot tall. They'll deer browse on them, yes, but next year, that's where these things start coming in for that stand so it takes time and patience and when I get up here like I am right now sit down and see what I have developed what I have built throughout the years it's enjoyable I just enjoy doing it like I say it's an artwork and for some of you that are starting out and it's fortunate I have my own property. That is one thing I have going for me. And uh, you have to take a picture of it. You have to take a mental picture of what you're wanting, what you're looking to gain, what you're looking to get. And adding to it in your mind where you want to be. And I'm, I'm there. Right now, I'm there right here. I got a lot going on. Still building on it. And still adding to it every year. And that's all. It's just all up to you. It's all up to you on what you want. So I'm going to bring you along when I get these out. Take you out to the stand, show you what's going on. 
I'll get to that in the morning, tomorrow morning, and uh, I'm just going to sit back and relax and enjoy the cabin, enjoy the front porch. Tomorrow I'll get out and get busy. But like I say, when you're out in the woods, be safe, rather be safe than sorry. And just be careful out there. Leave me a comment. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'll get back with you. And uh, thanks for coming along.